Welcome to 653. I just finished 652. That really long video you probably didn't watch most of yesterday. Uh, and it's going to take forever to, uh, to uh, export. Upload won't be bad, but this Mac is so hosed it needs to be rebuilt software wise. It wants 22 minutes and 23 minutes, and it's only going to go up from here. Actually, it's going down. 22 minutes to export a 14 minute video, and it used to take like 10 minutes. Anyways, I'm not going to go on for another 15 minutes. Um, I just wanted to say it is 8.54 p.m. This is on my new schedule. I'm back to East Coast time. Going to bed 10, 11, maybe 12 o'clock. Get up in the morning, feel so much better, so much more energy. It's productive. It's better. It's better. I used to go to bed at 4 in the morning and then get up at 9 and it would just kill. And I'll probably go back to that at some point, but this is nice for now. So that's probably going to be it for today, uh, yesterday technically, but you're in 653. And I will talk to you when it's light outside and I'm on my way into the office. So cue intro, that with a 3 instead of a 2. Good morning. It is now 10.19 a.m. on the 25th day of September 2012. It was actually beautiful like 20 minutes ago when I went outside. Now I've driven east a little bit and it's kind of starting to cloud over, but it's 60 degrees. Classy as frig today. Playing it up big time. Two classes. We're watching a movie in one and then just notes in the other, so it should be a pretty decent day class-wise. Um, I have a watch that really needs to be set. It's reading the 14th, so I've got 11 days to advance on that. Um, so I will talk to you if I see anything worth filming between here and campus, or on campus, or home. It'll be a surprise, so stick around. Alright, later than anticipated, at 6.32, I'm going to run into town to pick up a pizza for dinner because I'm really hungry. and. Um, Let's see, what else am I going to do? I think that's about it. It has cooled down considerably. It was up around 70 for a little bit this afternoon. Now, we are riding around 60. I think. But that's okay, because I have heated seats and I've been using them. And it heats that, uh, that leg extension part, which is right here. It heats that, so you move that up and it rests right back here, and man, that feels nice. All right, um, it is 6.45. I'm going over to pick up the pizza. It's 500 feet that way. And um, as I drove past the gas station, the Shell station that I always fill up at over here, um, there's this silver Mustang, looks like an 07, 08-ish. It's a hard top, uh, two girls driving it, and it makes a right out of the gas station onto this road, which is 303, downtown Hudson, always busy. Um, and it cuts the corner way, 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 way too tightly, and uh, it goes over the curb, which it's not like, you know, the curb's off the road six inches, but inside that curb is probably six inches lower than the road, so it's a foot lower than the height of the curb, and she puts the back wheel in there. Um, the rocker panel missed it, but that rear bumper, the overhang over the right rear wheel, it hit that, and it push that bumper three feet back. That car is now, or three inches back. That car is now three inches longer than it used to be. Totally destroyed that bumper. Why do women think, okay, I can't be too sexist, but seriously, it's funny, but I feel bad that they just hurt what is to them a nice car. So learn how to drive, know where your wheels are, and don't go over curbs. It will do damage. Well, I'm ending the day with cider. It's 1127. Uh, we also had donuts. Pizza was great. What else? Did emails. <laughs> Surprise. And the car, uh, well, I'll talk more about it tomorrow. And I don't think you'll be able to see much of it in this daylight or artificial light from the garage. But it is the dirtiest it has ever been outside of winter. Um, I haven't washed it in maybe six weeks. I haven't cleaned it in maybe four weeks. And it doesn't look bad from here. But when you get down to this wheel, you can see where my fingerprint or my finger mark was right there, covered in just brake dust. The doors from here down, especially here down, are really bad. You can see that that's just, oh, that's the channel for the, the rain that comes off the top of the car, dumps it there. There's another one there. It's just really, really, really grimy. The back's even worse. Look at that. It's really, really, really disgusting. The exhaust is too. Let me pull out the iPhone 5 here. Watch how fast this is. We open it up, we get out of my email, we come over here, we search for flash with an F, and we open up flashlight, and it's already on. Look at that. That is disgusting. 
Everything on the back of the car is grotesque. Look at that. So, tomorrow, it's supposed to rain. I can't turn the camera on with one hand. There we go. It's supposed to rain tomorrow, but if I get home and it's not raining, I'm doing it then, because then we've got like a week of clear sun and mid-60s, so. Uh, I'm actually excited to do it, because every time I come out to a parking lot or come out to the garage, and my wheels just look black, the tires are filthy, the whole thing's disgusting. So it's gonna be nice to get this all cleaned up and get a coat of the spray wax on it. Look at the leaves. All of these came out from under the hood and I dumped them in here because I need to clean the garage out anyway. So that's going to get done as well. But enough talking about what needs to be done. I'm going to go start more work and then go to bed. And I'll talk to you guys tomorrow on Wednesday. Hope you had a good day. Good night.